Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro and in today's Deck Sunday videos, we are going to learn how to dynamically switch axes in Power BI visuals. That means any graph that is using the axis, we can dynamically switch the axis. By that means, I simply say, for example, you can see on my report and over here, the first I have selected countries. So on my X axis, you can see all the country names are appearing. If I switch to currency over here in my slicer, now you can see all the currencies are appearing. While if I select the region, then all the regions are appearing. So that's how you can use the dynamic axis in Power BI. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So before going into the details, I would like to show you my data model over here. I have three tables. That means first my currency, second sales, which is my fact table and then sales territory. Let me show you the data as well for these tables. Let me first show you my table data. If I'll go in my data view over here, you will see this is my sales table where I have my different fields in the sales table and the one that we have to consider for this demo purpose is the sales amount and you can see that this is my sales amount. Second table is my currency table from where I'm gonna get all the currency name and thirdly the sales territory table. So this is my sales territory table from where I'm gonna take the country names. So these are my country names. In today's video, we are gonna learn a couple of DEX functions starting from the very basic that is the row DEX function. And for the demonstration of this, I have created this table over here where I'm using the row dex function and there I'm defining first the type which is my column name and what can be the value inside it so that can be your expression over here I don't need to create any expression so for the demonstration purpose I'm just putting my one value over here that is my currency and you can see that after just hitting enter I'm getting this my table which is saying okay my column name is type and the value is currency so basically row dex function is going to return a table with a single row containing values that results from the expression given to each column now let's move forward so i'm coming over here to my slicer so i have created this table named slicer and let me just clear this because i have applied the filter over here so this table also I have created using my DEX function and we needed this table because in order to do this dynamic switching of this axis, we need a table where we have all the values of the axis that we want to switch. That means you should have country, currency and the regions in a single table. And that's how we can pick them one by one and we can use them. So if I'll go in my data view over here, you can see I have two columns. One is the type where you can see I have three different type country, currency and region. If I'll go back in my report design view, you can see these are my types country, currency and region. Then there would be different values, which I'm just saying key or you can even give it a name, anything else you want to. I renamed it from the very first original name of this column. So you can see now I have all the values which are my country, currency and the region values. That is the table that you are going to need and how to create that table. For that I wrote our DAX. So let me show you my DAX. As I mentioned to you earlier, we are going to use a couple of DAX. The very first we learned the row DAX. So which is going to return you a single row containing values that results from the expression given to each column. Now another is the cross join. So cross join is like the Cartesian product. So whenever we are applying the cross join, so it's going to give you all the possible multiplication for that particular tables. So in the cross join, it's going to take the two tables. So one, the very first, we have this row one where I just initially created type and the currency that you should have already seen earlier, like over here. So this is giving me one table this dex function over here now let me go back over there again and after that i have values dex function so what it's gonna do whenever we are applying values dex function it's gonna take a column as an input or a table and it's gonna return you the non-duplicate values that means the unique values from that particular column so over here i'm gonna apply values dex function it's gonna return me a table 
for one column only with the all the possible values of the currency from the currency table so if you want to get all the values which are not duplicated from one particular column of a table then you can use this similarly i have created three different variables one for currency another is for country and then i have created for region at last what i am doing i am making the union of all these three variables and that's how i am creating this table where you can see i have three types like over here type currency country and region and then in the key field or the key column i have all the combination of my currency country and region so far we have learned how to use the rodex function after that we learned how to use the cross join and values dex function for values dex function if you are not aware about then you can check out the other dex and is videos where i have explained how to use it now we are going to use one more dex function which is very important that is tree test if you are not familiar about the tree test dex function you can check my previous video so let's go to my measure right now we have just created this for the axis now we have to create a measure for the our values as well because over here you will see if i select anything then correspondingly sales amount is appearing and which is going to come from our dynamic measure that i'm just going to create or i'm just going to show you which i have already created so what you have to do over here in the sales table i have created one dynamic measure which you can see over here and here i'm using the very first is the has one value dex function has one value is going to return true when the context of the column has been filtered down to one distinct value only if there won't be any one distinct value it's not going to do anything otherwise it's going to get fail so the syntax is very simple has one value then you are going to type your column name and your column name is the name of an existing column using standard dex syntax it cannot be an expression so always keep this in your mind after that i'm using the switch statement in the switch statement you can see i'm again using the values that means i am finding all the different values that i have in my type column in my slicer table so once you will get all the different values from your type column from the slicer table then i'm checking okay if my this column is equals to country so what it should do that means once you are going to select country from your slicer so for that i'm calculating sum of total sales amount so it should give me my total sales amount but how then i have to apply the filter as well where i'm using the tree test tree test always take two values so the very first parameter would be your values from the slicer key column that means your slicer table the key key column and over here we are again filtering it out on the basis of sales territory country that means only for the countries you are going to return your sales amount let me rephrase it again so what what we are trying to do over here we are saying if i select the country then only sales should appear corresponding to the country only and if we are going to select the currency then only sales should going to appear related to the currency and if i'm going to select the region i should only get the sales amount for those regions only so th so that's what i have done it for all those three different values over here country currency and region once you are going to done that you can hit enter and now let's go back over there once we are done over here so let me show you once more over here in my new page what you have to do first you have to create a slicer and slicer is going to come from the type field of my slicer table so let me just bring my slicer this is my slicer and let's put this field type over here so now you can see you have three different values over here and let me make it a uh, single select that's it now i have to create a graph for that i can select this one cluster type over here and for the axis i need the key because in the key column i have all the values which are my country currency or region and in the values field i need to choose my dynamic measure that we have created in the sales table so let me bring it over here and here you go 
Now you can clearly see that I have selected country so all the countries are appearing on the axis. If I switch country to currency then all the currencies are appearing and if I'm gonna switch region then all the regions are appearing. So this is how you can create a dynamic axis chart or any graph. And please let me know guys if you have any question or concern regarding this demo and also don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates.